Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about the secondary structures of protein and in that context we would talk about beta plated sheets. Previously we have talked about alpha helices. If you missed that video, go check that video and the link is in the i button. So protein structure can be divided into different structural levels starting from primary structure, then secondary structure, tertiary and quaternary structure. And now we are focusing on the secondary structural features. Among the secondary structural features, there could be alpha helices, there could be beta turns, there could be beta pleated sheet. The center stage of this video would deal with beta pleated sheet. Now beta pleated sheet is a region of peptide chain where the amino acids are linked with each other in a specific orientation in form of hydrogen bonding and this kind of gives like a sheet sheet like appearance in a 3d space and that is why the name is beta pleated sheet so let's look at the structural features of this so the nh groups of the backbone actually forms hydrogen bonds with the carbonyl group from the other amino acids so roughly it looks like this now the biggest difference between alpha helices and beta plated sheet is the distance between adjacent amino acid which is 1.5 armstrong in alpha helices whereas it is 3.5 armstrong in beta plated sheet so in terms of steric hindrance beta plated sheet structures experience experience less steric constraint compared to alpha helices now beta plated sheet can be organized into two different orientation parallel and anti parallel in this particular orientation you can understand the beta plated sheet has all the hydrogen bonds in a particular plane right in a planar fashion and all the amino acid r groups are protruding out from the plane either upwards or downwards that itself is reducing the steric constraint right now let me tell you due to these kind of structural organization tryptophan tyrosine phenylalanine these kind of bulky side chain containing amino acid can be a part of beta pleated sheet but this is not a stereotype there are many other structures where beta pleated sheet generally prefers smaller side chain containing amino acid as well and probably due to the structural feature of beta pleated sheet these kind of bulky groups can fit now if we look at the beta pleated sheet in a uh, ramachandran plot we would see the phi and psi angle would be roughly minus 120 degree and plus 115 degree roughly they fall into this particular region both parallel and anti parallel sheets fall into this region now the question is where do we found find the beta pleated sheets it turns out many protein contains both alpha helices or beta pleated sheet as their secondary structures but the proportion is different some proteins might be enriched in beta pleated sheet while some others are enriched in alpha helices just to give you an example the silk or fibroin this particular protein is very much enriched in beta pleated sheet now the supramolecular association of beta pleated sheet has been implicated in neurodegenerative diseases like alzheimers where it can form aggregation so beta pleated sheet their interaction with each other is very important in context of disease now let me tell you that how structural features of proteins can be studied using experimental techniques like how we can experimentally determine the changes at the level of beta pleated sheet or alpha helices techniques like x-ray crystallography or circular dichroism spectroscopy could be useful to study these features so if you want to learn about these specific techniques the link would be provided in the i button now here let me tell you about circular dichroism spectroscopy looking at the cd signature you can understand whether that particular protein is majorly constituted with alpha helix or beta pleated sheet let's take one example 
look at this particular dotted line this is the protein signature or cd signature of a particular protein now comparing with known signature you can kind of understand this protein would be majorly made up of alpha helices then coming to the next particular uh, example where we see a stress like this this particular protein looks like it is going to be majorly constituent of beta pleated sheet apart from these techniques cryo electron microscopy can also provide us with the structural information about a protein so in this video what we have learned is the structure of beta pleated sheet where we can find them etc but this beta pleated sheet can also coordinate with alpha helices and form super secondary structures so there are different levels of structural complexity and gradually we would level up so in upcoming videos you would get much more information about super secondary structures which might have alpha helices in combination with beta pleated sheets so just to summarize what we have learned so far we learned about the structural features of beta pleated sheet how they are oriented in a 3d space the dihedral angles where they fall in uh, ramachandran plot we also looked at the factor that can govern the uh, stereospecificity or uh, specificity or the stability of beta pleated sheet lastly we also learned the possible ways by which we can take a look at the structural features of beta pleated sheet so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and thanks for listening see you next time